and we're back for what I believe to be episode 43 of Triangle Strategy. Last time, we had a pretty tough battle if I'm being honest, as we chose to um, go with Frederica's plan in chapter 13 now, where instead of, you know, um, flooding the town or I think sinking ships, whatever it was we did the first time around. We decided to try and negotiate with people and ended up finding uh, Talos and Erica once again in a terrible bridge battle with little to no defenses or hiding places. <laughs> uh, but we made it through after like four attempts and we got some interesting dialogue to say the least with uh, Milo being sassy as always, uh, Erica being a bitch, Talos being Talos I guess, like he's rude. But he's not as rude as Erica, I think. Somehow. I don't know how. And I think that was it. Oh yeah, we got to see more of uh, Frederica's perspective during this whole situation, which was fun. Uh, aside from that, I don't think anything else happened. I did do a bit of grinding in between episodes, and my grinding, I mean I just grinded money. Because I have nothing else to grind at this point. So now we got some nice money. Hopefully that lasts us the remainder of the route. It probably will, maybe. Uh, aside from that, let's get into the episode. Today, I guess we're gonna probably fight Avlora again in a ship battle. So, you know, that sounds incredibly fun. <laughs> incredibly fun. <laughs> like, limited space, surrounded by water. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be surrounded by strong enemies, too. I am not looking forward to what is about to happen. <sighs> I got nothing else to do, so let's go. Sereno and the others board a boat and give chase, eventually catching up to Avlora. Oh, this looks bad. We've got you now as Frosty Curs. And we'll be taking Cordelia back with us. Are those Hawk Knights literally just gonna stand there doing nothing? Not even gonna try and cut the rope? So we've been caught. Prepare for a fight. My lord, if you use the pulley, we can board their ship. Oh god. Only one person can cross at a time. Oh. Careful not to get left there alone. Oh no. Nuh uh. You have to be kidding me, right? A freaking pulley? Should have expected this, but still. Indeed. We must look before we leap. We won't be able to return with the pulley, given the differing heights of our vessels. Understood. We will save the queen. We must. Okay, who's recommended for this? Okay, so we got Benedict, Anna, that makes sense. Uh, Hewitt, I guess that makes sense. Uh, Maxwell works. He has auto revive, so he should be fine for once. Uh, Flanagan also works. He's pretty tanky. Only seven recommended units? I think we had seven recommended units in, a, in another battle we had, but still, that's very little. <laughs> I hope and pray there's not reinforcements in this, because this already <laughs> looks like a nightmare. Just because of the pulley. Oh, thank god. I don't think there's any mages. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we do have hot beans. And... Okay, that's normal. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, Avlora doesn't have anything. All she has is desperate strike and risky maneuver. But she does have amulet of immunity, so I guess that's something. Uh, so we got you guys. What does rapid descent do again? Yes, yeah, just it's regular physical damage. Uh, okay, that's whatever. We got some ice arrow people. More bird people, two ice arrows, three ice arrows, two knights, and a healer. So right now, we gotta put on some pretty bulky units to try and survive this situation. So I think I'm gonna put on Eridor. I don't know whether I should put a, a healer on or not, because I don't know if we're gonna need them. Decimal might be good in this situation, because I think he has enough range to hit him even from here, right? Uh, that's five spaces. I think his attacks have like 10 range, don't they? Yeah, they have a range of 10 and a height of 99, so we should be fine, I think. Uh, anything else? Who else do we want to bring on board? Cordelia has 6 range on her healing, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Up to there. Or I can try and bring Hosobara since she's... This is probably a bad idea, but I'm... Hi, 
Leave it to me. She's gonna be our healer for this battle, I guess. I don't think we have anyone else who would really be helpful in this situation. Because they'll probably die at <laughs> at the pulley situation, if I'm being honest. I guess let's put Cordelia on, because why not? Oh my gosh, her voice just now. With all my might. With all my might. With all my Come on, say the line again. With all my with all my hair goes. <laughs> why the why does her voice fluctuate so much? Like I love it. It's great. <laughs> Sorry. Cordelia's voice always gets me. Uh, she has to be one of my favorite things so far in the game. As weird as Cordelia is as a character, her voice is just the best thing. <laughs> the best thing ever. It always brightens my day to hear Cordelia. Uh, okay, uh, we'll use her in this battle just because it's hilarious that we can use her in this battle, although she's the one we're trying to save right now. That's all the units I can deploy. How much range do you guys have? Uh, you can move four. You can move five. So I think you can get here without having to use the pulley. Wait, I'd have to put you here, I think. One, two, three, four. Oh, you can make it if I do that. Okay. Okay, so the first unit we're gonna have go on that step thing. It's probably on us since she can go invisible. Uh, we're probably gonna leave Decimal here so he can hopefully you know, deal damage from a distance. Cordelia can also stay here because I think she can do enough healing from here. Uh, we are gonna have, actually, how much range does Trevor's have? Because if it has enough range, he can probably, no, it just has three, okay, yeah. Uh, I think Milo can get over there with her moon jump, actually. Yeah, she has a range of five on that, so she can probably just get there with the moon jump. So we'll put you here. Oh wait, I can't move you, of course not, okay. You're one who needs to get there as well, so we'll put you there. Uh, let's put... Oh, actually. I guess we'll do this. Let me also get some my items to people real quick. Because I feel like things are gonna go bad real fast if I don't. Okay, we've given everyone <laughs> accessories, so hopefully this battle isn't too rough. We got Serenal with Strength and Defense, because <laughs> I couldn't give a think of what else to give him. Hopefully with this he can survive and, you know, deal damage. We gave Ana Critical and Strength. Just because I don't know what else she's going to be doing, honestly, aside from damage in this battle. <laughs> uh, we gave Huet accuracy so she can hopefully land those blindness arrows. We gave Eridor uh, HP and Ice Amulet so he can hopefully survive those um, ice attacks from the bow people. Milo with evasion because you know why. Uh, Josevara defense and resurrection because you know she's going to die. Uh, Cordelia with HP bracelet because I didn't know what else to give her. And I don't know if magic attack affects how much healing she does or not, so uh, let's hope it doesn't because I didn't give her any of that. We got Maxwell with HP bracelet and strength bracelet because, you know, he can um, survive. Actually, why did I give him this? Oh yeah, because I couldn't think of anything else to give him. I mean, he's just trying to survive out here. He has auto revive, so he'll be fine for at least one or two attacks. Uh, but after that, I guess whatever. What happens, happens. We got fun again with Ice Amulet so he can take those Ice Arrows and Bangle of Vitality so he can heal some damage. And that's it. The plan right now is to have Ana go first uh, while in the shadow so she can hopefully, you know, put in some work while, you know, not having to worry about being attacked. Then we'll have Eridor go so he can hopefully, you know, take some hits over there. Probably gonna have him use a spice to raise his defense. After that, we're probably gonna have Milo go over here and Moon jump over there. Uh, after that, either between Josevar, Serenoa, or Maxwell, we're gonna have some of those guys try and get over there. After that, we got Benedict, who I completely forgot was even on the team. <laughs> I completely forgot Benedict was on the team. I guess Benedict's here. I didn't give him anything. Okay, that's whatever. He'll buff people up, just do his regular thing, you know. He went over here so she can hopefully hit these guys with the blindness arrows. We got Flanagan here so he can also, you know, hopefully get across over here without any problems. Uh, and Cordelia is just gonna stay here and try to do heals from afar. Hopefully that works. Anyway, uh, let's save and we can begin. Oh, we got Tempest, Wind, and Overcast. Interesting. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this or if you guys noticed. I'm still sick, by the way, so sorry in advance for everything. Let's begin. You can use the pulley on the rope between the two ships to board the enemy's vessel. Once you board the enemy's ship, you cannot return. Consider the timing and the size of the boarding party carefully. Commence the battle.
skirmish on the Norzelia River. The battle begins. They cannot escape us on the water. We can use the pulley to board their ship, then strike General of Laura down. Hawk Riders! Fell any who draw near. Do not let them aboard. Oh, I I can't land right now, I think, because he's right there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I guess we just gotta wait for this for now. Delectable. My god. Again? Whatever. Oh, that's why she's recommended. Oh, oh wait, she wasn't recommended. <laughs> okay, never mind. But never mind. Uh, I guess I made the right choice. I was like, doesn't Hosavara have like a catapult attack <laughs> that can move uh, your ally units? Okay, it's a good thing we put her on. Uh, I guess let's send Eridor. Oh. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, so it doesn't work the way I, w I wanted it to. Uh, yeah. Unless I can... I don't know. Can I do this? Oh, I can. Uh, not the unit I'd like to send, but I don't have much options right now. Unless I can send you. Can I? No, I can't. Ugh. I really should have paid more attention to unit positioning for this. Let's send you here. I don't think I had you buff up anyone, did I? Who did I buff up? Oh yeah, use now. That's what I did. Okay. I guess I might as well send you over there. Oh wait. Oh my god. Of course there are. I, I forgot to check to the, the enemy positioning as well. Oh, that sucks. Freaking bow people at the top of the building. Oh! Sorry, sorry, I just, I was not expecting her to start moving already. Okay, this is bad. Strike crew, die already! My turn. Oh lord. Try as you might, you will never take Queen Cordelia from me! Oh, hello. <laughs> A bit intense there, Avlora. Do not falter! This is our chance to strike down their general! I mean, we don't have to. You'll be nothing but a blood stain upon my Ooh, that plate. actually did hurt. Taste my shield! Aim for the general! Hold nothing back! Come, Wolfort! I shall grant you all a swift end! I think this is like the most intense we've ever heard, um, Serenoa and Avlora. Like, disconfrontational with each other. Oh, dang it. Oh no. Chance. I forgot about the bow people. Oh no! Still alive! Oh, this is... this is bad. <laughs> oh, okay, I did not... Oh, this is bad. Okay, so you guys are probably gonna die, but that's alright. Uh, sorry for you guys, but... Uh, I guess this is what we get. Hmm. I kinda wanna redo this, if I'm being honest. Like, this isn't a bad match right now, but... We definitely could've done things better. And probably had more units survive. So let me retry this real quick. Okay, I think this is the positioning we want, cause... This way... Um, both of these guys can get over there, no problem. We can catapult Eridor with Hosavara. We can maybe get Baxwell over there at some point. Milo's gonna be able to get over there no matter what, so that's fine. Cordelia can stay here for a while since she's gonna be doing some healing, I guess. And everything else should be fine, I think. Actually, I'm gonna move Decimal because he doesn't need to be up there, I think. Uh, we can probably just put, uh, Serenoa there. Okay, let's try this again. Also, hopefully this time we actually land the charm, because freaking RNG has not been on our side since last episode.
leave not a single wolf or cur alive! Damn it! There are more in hiding. General of Laura, hand over Queen Cordelia. We won't forgive you for taking her prisoner. And leave her to be a puppet in your hands? You're no better than the Archduke. Hey, why would you think that, though? I am a general of Esfrost and Queen Cordelia's sword. That's so cool. I shall not fall here. <laughs> why can't we just talk things out? <laughs> why does everything have to end in fighting, Alora? My turn. Oh, that's dead. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, so we pretty much won the battle now. We probably could have made it through this one without losing a unit again, but 
Oh well. We made it to the end and that's all that matters. And we made it with most of the party intact, so that's even better. Wait, let me make sure that the clear condition isn't too... Oh, it is to the feet of Laura. Okay, sorry, Avora. I can't finish you off just yet. Than you look. Ow, ow, ow. I need you to survive just a bit longer until I finish everyone else off and get all the spoils. I just want to see what above and beyond looks like, so let me use it real quick. Is that lag or is, is that how it's supposed to be? I feel like that was lag, but that looked really pretty. This ain't pretty. <laughs> Sorry, that was completely coincidental how she said this isn't pretty. Okay, there we go. Leave everything to okay, me. so this battle wasn't too bad. The main difficulty really you. comes in from Avlora, because I feel like we could have taken care of most of these guys had she not started moving so early, because I guess I got used to the to the battle at Wolford Domain where she doesn't move until like a certain amount of turns or until a certain amount of units are killed. So I guess I was kind of expecting that to happen here as well. But I guess I'm glad it kind of didn't happen, because, I mean, uh, that battle is already difficult enough as it is, but it does feel kind of weird, the fact that she doesn't move for a while over there. So I guess it, it, it just feels somewhat better that she moves somewhat more immediately in this battle versus in that battle. It does kind of suck not having all your party together, but at the same time, you can still make it through this battle no matter what uh, strategy you come up with, probably, because you do have a ton of ways to move from one area to the other, uh, especially if, you know, you're investing in key A2's points and nigh items and things like that, and use the ability of all your units to the most, uh, to their, uh, to their best of their capabilities. So I will say this was a pretty fun match. It wasn't as difficult as the last battle, but it did make you, like, think of new ways of how to handle the situation, getting from point A to point B and dealing with enemies that can also get from point A to point B and also dealing with limited space and things like that. That was, this was definitely a, a pretty fun match. Anyways, let's have Milo finish it off. Sorry, Evlora, but this is goodbye. Dance poison. Uh. I have failed you. Oh, we've got some decent money from it, too. I'll take that. Oh, by the way, I probably would have evaded, you know, losing units had I used healing items, but I really didn't want to waste healing items anymore. Because they, cause they still are kind of technically limited. Not as much as before, but, you know. It's like the elixir situation I was talking about, where you don't want to use it until the final boss. Yet even then you still don't want to use it. We have taken your ship. It ends here, Avlora. I am sorry, my queen. Nice rain, by the way. <laughs> totally coincidental that it appeared just now. It couldn't have been raining during the whole match. Being overtaken by these traitors and failing to protect you. Is my life's greatest failure. General of Laura. You dare call us traitors? You invaded Glenbrook under the premise of peace. If not traitors, then how about Hyzantian dogs? I mean, she's not wrong. Every dog has its day. And this one shall be mine. No, it won't, Roland. Please stop, Maxwell. Stand back, Cordelia. 
You're not Maxwell. What? There's no mistaking it. Roland! <laughs> I see now. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could tell Gustadolf. Sorry, it's just weird hearing Alora's voice like that. She sounded so... I don't even know what the word for that was. Let me hear that one more time. I see now. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could tell Gustadolf. Stop, Roland! I am sorry for all the pain I have caused you, Cordelia. But I will free you from this villain by my own hand. No, Roland! Gerbil of Lore is... No! Cordelia! Oh wow, Why? I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> Sorry, we got spoiled about this a long time ago when the uh, and when we beat the true ending and got the whole new intro thing. <laughs> uh, this is unfortunate. Still a great scene, by the way, uh, with all the, like, just incredible how they did that. They really made it feel like one of those movies when, you know, it's raining, it's dark and everything, and he takes off the mask and reveals it's vengeance time. <laughs> that was great. Even if we did know what was going to happen. Gemma of Laura protected me. Queen Cordelia. Run of Laura. Or, you know, you can stay and talk things out. Your Majesty, forgive me. Find her. She won't get far with those wounds. Queen Cordelia! Gila, she needs a healer. Cordelia? Cordelia! You have no one to blame but yourself for this one, Roland. Like, literally. And you still make the dumbest choices ever after this. The Asfrosty General takes Cordelia and flees on a warship, but Wolfort gives chase, and Avlora throws herself into the Norzelia River. Some of the remaining Asfrosty soldiers fight tooth and nail to keep their hold on the city, but are eventually bested by the Hyzantian army. Though Glenbrook has taken more damage than anticipated, her people are safe. And House Wolford breathes a sigh of relief to see their plan fulfilled. Though the Crown City has been reclaimed, Cordelia suffers grave injuries from Childing Ablora. It looks like she's overcome the worst of it. Once she wakes up, she should be fine. Thank you, Minister Lila. She would not have made it without you. Glenbrook was our ally during the fight against Esfrost. You need not thank me, Prince. My apologies. I suppose I should call you King Roland now. No. My enthronement has yet to be announced. I see. I shall take my leave. Thank goodness. But why, Cordelia? Why did you shield our enemy? For you, my heart completed.
Overwhelmed by the forces of House Wolfhort, Esfrost's troops are scattered and driven from the Crown City. Glenbrook, at last, is free. Several days after this fateful battle, Queen Cordelia announces her intent to abdicate the throne and make way for another. Roland Glenbrook, his face no longer hidden from the world, will take his rightful place at the seat of power. With the Prince's friends having only just finished grieving his death, and his enemies having only just finished toasting to it, this news shocks the foundations not only of Glenbrook, but of Norzelia itself. By routing Esfrost's forces and leaving the city unscathed, House Wolfort displays their martial prowess and their loyalty to their liege. The prince becomes king and condemns the schemes of Gustadolf, making known Esfrost's plot to usurp the throne. However, the people's reaction to this news is not quite a chorus of approval. It is plain that the ravages of war and the shame of subjugation have left an indelible mark on the once prosperous nation. Although the battle for Glenbrook is behind them, Serenoa and the rest of the city's liberators must make ready for a struggle of an entirely different sort. Okay, so I think the rest of this should be the same, right? Okay, yeah, so the rest of this is basically the same thing from before. So I guess it's time to end off the episode. Oh, oh, okay. I was not expecting just to... Okay, I guess we're ending off the episode with Rudolph. <laughs> okay, kind of unexpected, but not complaining. The former salt smuggler recounts the promise he made to his late brother. I was just trying to end off the episode, but I guess we got character stories. Never saw myself coming this far just to be scrubbing the decks on some ship. Quiet. This is an important job, even if you think it beneath you. I... I meant no disrespect. It's just that my brother and I always figured we'd be passengers on a ship like this. I see. Was he fond of ships? Not as such, no. What's that? It's my brother. Or rather, his ashes, anyhow. Oh. Made a promise to him when we were still small, you see. When he got better, I told him we'd set off to wherever we wanted. Eat whatever we wanted. See things nobody'd seen. He always dreamt we'd find a paradise of our own and live like kings. But he never so much as left a sickbed let alone the duchy itself. I'm a terrible brother. Broke my word. As soon as I saw this ship, it all came flooding back. You needn't punish yourself. You did all you could to protect him. Thank you. I appreciate the kind words, but what's done is done. I refuse to accept that. Nothing is ever final. And I dare say, the weather is fair enough for a short test cruise. We can just take the ship out for a joyride? Don't we need his lordship's permission? I am my own person and responsible for my own actions, and the consequences of those actions. Besides, I must ensure that the ship is in working order, and you deserve a reward for your labor today. I am certain we can handle ourselves if we work together. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay, that was kind of cute. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, there's some more. Aw, we got a whole cutscene too. That's so adorable. Screenshot. The sea air feels wonderful. <laughs> I had no idea a breeze could feel so good. You never got to go outside, you know, on account of the sickness. You just lay there, staring at the ceiling. 
But now he can finally see the bright blue sky and feel the winds uncaged. If only one of his dreams is fulfilled, I'm glad it's this one. Thank you, Anna. This has turned into a fine way to honor his memory. He's free now. There is no need for thanks. This is my job. Aye, uh, so you say. That don't mean I can't be grateful. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I think I prefer, uh... Rudolph's character story to Corinthian. Like, as a unit, I prefer Corinthian because he's somehow way stronger than him. Uh, just because of his TPI's ability. And his sub story is cute as well. You know, it's funny. It kind of reminds me of Dragon and so on. But I don't know. Just the interaction between uh, Rudolph and Anna was so adorable. There's just. It was just way too cute. It's also nice seeing Anna be, you know, I guess kind like it's not that she isn't kind it's just that you know she kind of keeps to herself since she's an assassin or whatever but yeah it's nice to see her like that it's also raising the shipping alarms both literally and figuratively <laughs> because they were literally on a ship and it was selling away pretty good if you ask me okay sorry <laughs> i've said enough uh but yeah that was really cute let me go to the encampment real quick and try and see what he has to say now. He has like an accent going on. <laughs> I don't think I can replicate that. Uh, but let's see. I might take up sailing whenever the war ends. Should be plenty of work for a former smuggler with command of a ship. And that's one of the good ones. Aww. Not a day has gone by I haven't trained with my trusty bill. I have a reputation to uphold and a lore to impress. Aww, is that it? I can't remember if they have three or four lines. I guess it's just three. Oh well, that was still cute. Okay, we're almost at the end. We're so close right now. <laughs> uh, oh wait, we're already at chapter 15? I forgot that... Was chapter 14 just story? No, it was the battle and then just a bunch of story. That's what it was. Oh, we're already here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was definitely a fun one. Um, a lot of things, a semi a lot of things happened. We got finally unlocked Rudolph's character story. We got to see more of uh, the Alora Cordelia ship, <laughs> literally and figuratively again, sorry. Um, and we had a pretty nice battle, if you ask me. Not too difficult, but not easy either. Uh, look forward to next episode, which I'm about to record literally right now, where we'll finally probably be unlocking one of the, uh, the third to last... Uh, recruitable character we can get and uh, you know doing one of the last couple of options we can do of new things we can do or whatever anyways uh, I'll see you next time bye